Hi guys, it's Mary Jane here and today we will be recreating the Littlest Pet Shop picture behind here. So I can show you that picture. We're going to be using all of these pets in the picture, even this one because Basic Fun just released a video featuring this guy spinning there, so we'll do both versions. And I even have this card, but we will start with the set and unpacking some of this. So I've unpacked the entire set before and did a review of the pets. If you haven't seen that, you might want to check it out. This set was actually hard to get out of the box. It was screwed into the bottom with some really weird things. So I originally had that in the video, but I don't think you guys actually want to just watch me struggle to open it. I know you have before, but Okay, so in here we've got a little hoop, which is super fun. It's the pets can jump through it. This mold has been used before for pet fun things. We even have a trophy, so this will be fun to play with. You could have a little competition. I know the LPS tube competitions just occurred, but that would be kind of fun if they had all, everyone's mascot. And then they give them a trophy or something. What is this? Oh, um, oh, a podium. That's cute, so the winner can go on the podium and receive the trophy. And we've got some food. I mean, that's always a good prize. I like food. I'm sure the Lilith's Pet Drops do as well. I'll uncase this. That's a little interesting. It was easy enough. So I'm noticing there's not actually a little peg here, so that means only the bird pets can sit on that. Because if you see here, it's got the little peg so anyone could go on there. Oh, why isn't this moving? Okay. Oh, it's strapped on the side here. I'll unstrap that. Now it's free to move. And the spins, we'll go over that later. Let's see, we'll take these guys off. This is really cute. What are you, are you guys keeping the little pets that come on here? Or are you recycling them? That one just slid right off. Nice. So we've got the iguana and the cat there. And that's perfect because if we look behind, we're going to need the iguana, the cat, the bird, the dog, the panda, the bull. And that's the same panda. And the dog card. So we can start off with gathering the dog card. I have all my cards here. There's quite a bit of them. I have it at the back because that's the last number. So we've got the dog card. That is perfect. And we also have, of course, the setup. And they have everything lined up in the front. They have the trophy on the right. It's kind of hard to see. We might have to move this back a little bit. So we've got the trophy on the right and we've got the podium there and the food there and the hoop there. So that is exactly how they have it. And then they have the card on the right, which you can't, I can't really just make it float. So I'll just put it on the ground like that for now and maybe hold it up at the end. Okay, I can set that there. Now we will go collect the animals. So I can start off with collecting the French Bulldog, the orange cat, and the panda and the bull. Let's have a look. These are my more neutral colored pet shops in a bag because they don't have enough shelves for all of them yet. I really like this one. I haven't cleaned her. Maybe she needs to be cleaned. Okay, now I did have them near the top with the new ones, but then I was rummaging around to find Mary Jane. So let's go through this. I know everyone's probably used to this lovely sound and there's also like the great smell of the Littlest Pet Shops. I have noticed that some of the new ones do have a stronger smell. People asked me about that. In the first pack that I opened, I didn't notice that much of a smell, but after comparing to the old ones there is, but it also makes sense because like they were just manufactured. It's a cute little beaver. Okay, let's not get sidetracked. I'm looking for a bowl. There we go, there's the bowl. And I need the orange cat, the French bulldog, and what else did I need that was a neutral color? Oh, the panda. Okay, the panda's right here. That's the new panda. Very white and clean. 
Okay, we got Parker over here. So let's see. The French Bulldog's kind of a beige. I kept thinking it was gray. Okay, well, we got the orange cat. And now we just need the French Bulldog. There he is. Alrighty. Now I'm going to need this green iguana. So we'll just look over all of my green guys. And oh, I see his little feet in the back. There he is. So we will grab him. And last but not least, we'll be needing the pink bird right here. All right, so now that we've gotten to collecting all of the pets, we can put them up where they need to go. So for starters, we can see it's getting a little bit cut off, but the iguana is up there on the skateboard. He actually matches the skateboard perfectly, so place him right up there. See if he likes the skateboard. Oh, it's kind of hard to get him down fully on that. I guess he doesn't have to be fully on it, but there we go. That's cute. Oh, he's actually facing the other way in the picture, isn't he? Let's turn him. Oh, I can't turn him because the his peg is on the right foot, which is up here. So this must be a mirror. I don't know what. I guess the one in the photo is not actually on the peg because the one in the photo is facing this way. Okay, so I guess we'll do that, not on the peg, and it is about there in the photo, so let's put that there. Next we have the French Bulldog, and in this photo he's just uh, sitting on this over there, so let's see. This one rotates, so I should be able to put him on the peg and just rotate him around. That's kind of fun, because then he could be like the announcer or something, and he's kind of... He's kind of straight on a little bit to the right. I think that that is how it is in the photo back there. Then we have the orange cat up here. Okay, so there's no pegs there. And I'm realizing like their photo is definitely edited quite a bit because the cat like has more space in their photo, I think. Yeah, this cat is literally touching the top there. So I guess we can see that their photo is a lie. Um, exposing basic fun. I still love you, basic fun, but I guess there's a little bit, they, I don't know, they definitely exaggerated the space that they have there. And then we get the little chick, and she goes in here. Let's see if her proportions are right in the photo or not. That is definitely not a good place to put pets here, well, like without the peg. It just doesn't work. That's kind of unfortunate. I guess, like, because this is so close, that might keep her there. Okay. So, we have recreated the photo there. Maybe he should face a little bit more like that. And let me just stop to get a picture on my phone. And maybe we should actually remove this and put a blue background behind it. So this is the behind box that it came in. It's a little bit bent. Let's see. Oop. Yeah, that's not a great place for the cat. That's for sure. Oh, and this swing goes back and forth. So that's kind of cute. I think a smaller pet would fit nicely up here. Like, oh, it's kind of on a slant. This is terrible. Okay, the bear fits up there, so we could leave him up there. And to mimic Basic Fun's recent video, I think they had the bear here. And it was just twirling around. Ooh, his head is squishy. I've seen people commenting that their heads are squishier. I would agree on that one. Oh, so cute. He twirls around. Will the French Bulldog fit up here, I wonder? Okay, he actually fits nicer than the cat. And then with the photo, they had the Roblox on the side, they had the bull, and they had the bear, and they had the card. So that is my attempt at recreating that set's photo. And maybe I can put the cat up here to get them all in one. 
that's that stock photo. I can also do a lot more if you guys like this. I would love to do more of these videos if it's something that you guys are interested in. Thank you for watching and see you around.